All right, all right. Good morning, my friend. This is my uh, response to Pimpy. After all my respect, of course. You know, guys, I respect Pimpy a lot. He's the only one out there <coughs> who tell the truth. My response about the only one Pimpy who's talked about the Arab Spring was me. Let me let you know why I mentioned and I said the Arab Spring can continue. In 2010, when the Arab Spring started, I was in Tunisia. And it started in Tunisia. Exactly started before 2010. It started in November 2009. November 2009, people started getting to the street, just like today, Iraq, slowly. I was there. I was there for six months. Then the government, which is Ben Ali, before Egypt, before Libya, before Syria, before everybody, Arab, uh, Arab Spring, Southern Tunisia. And it was in November 2009. This is how it started. People started taking to the street. Slowly, slowly, just like Iraq today. This is why I mentioned the, uh, I mean, the Arab Spring in my video. And this is why I said the Arab Spring continue. In December 17, and you can check this out, it's fact. 2000, I mean, I'm sorry, 2010, uh, 2011, the 17th of December, of uh, January, I'm sorry, 2011, the 17th of January, it was more than 3 million people out in the street screaming, Ben Ali, get out of here. The guy's name Ben Ali. Get out of here. What you saw yesterday and before yesterday in Iraq, it's the same, same scenario. It's the same images. People took the street for one or two days. Exactly what happened in Tunisia, November 2009. 2010, all 2010 in Tunisia was wave after wave, wave after wave. What? Till 11. January 2000 and, uh, I'm sorry 17 January of 2011 people come out in once I remember people come out in once no one stayed home no one when I say it's 12 million people in that country it's a small country 12 million people that 12 million people three million three million of them in the streets of the capital and the rest of them in the street in their in their neighborhoods out and you can check this is fact so when I say the Arab Spring continue, the Arab Spring continue. You can knock, you can say whatever you want, Pepe. You can do whatever you want. I compare it with because I look at history. History repeats itself. Started with Tunisia. Same thing in Egypt in 2011. Started in 2012. Everybody was in the street. It took a year, and it was wave after wave, wave after wave. Till you got nine million people in the street of Egypt, of Cairo. Same thing with Libya, but Libya turned bad. Same thing with Syria, but Syria turned bad. But the Arab Spring, listen, Pimpy, the Arab Spring continue. This is my answer to you. After all my respect, of course. You are not there. I was there. 2009, I remember 2009, November 2009, all the way to, to 2010, I was there. That started. And then things come down a little bit. I remember in, in the summer of 2010, and back, I was back home in Iraq, and then my dad sent me back to Tunisia in December 12 exactly for work. And then when I'm there, I got stuck there because nobody, after like a couple of weeks, I was nobody can flow out, nobody can get out of the country, nothing. I was stuck there all the way to February 15th. And the Arab Spring started in Tunisia. And the same thing, you see the same thing. And that's what's going to happen in Iraq these days. And look if this guy go through and this guy is not giving up it's not giving up this guy should be you talking about Malik and all that Malik should be judged or killed for real he wanted to listen this guy first worked with the enemy which is Bush second worked with Iran third he's trying to start the civil war in Iraq if he doesn't win or for weird you know nobody plays his one of his people in government so this guy should not be alive. That's what I'm saying. Should not be alive. This guy is 
we call this high treason high treason so the arab spring continue uh pimpy i'm sorry but the arab spring continue this is the arab spring you can say anything you want you can my, i mean things are fact you can look at the past you can look at the history and history repeat himself have a good day guys later from the middle east this message is from pimpy and about the dinar guys when i told you yesterday it changed yes it did change it changed on their part on the on the offices on the banks they didn't start work with it once they said the government once they said the government a week or two weeks later things will change now the price i don't know it can be 1200 it can be 9 to 8 1150 it can be one to one it can be 60 cents to one nobody knows what's the rate so just be patient but pimpy look at history arab spring continue and i repeat it arab spring continue yes it is an arab spring